Welcome back to Daytime. Well, let's see. The Memorial Cup is behind us. The Stanley Cup playoffs are winding down. And as the hockey stops on the ice, the one thing that never, ever stops here in Canada is us talking about hockey. We talk about it all year long, and we like to debate, you know, pros and cons and this and that. Well, we have joining us a Kitchener native who is not only a hockey fan, but he has written a book called Let's Talk Hockey. And it's 50 of the biggest hockey debates going. Phil Schlenker is here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And congratulations on the book. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, I consider myself somewhat of a hockey expert, and I, I guess uh, one day I just felt uh, the best thing to do would be to try to put that knowledge and package it into a 320-page book. And uh, it's an entertaining read for anybody that's a fan of the game. Uh, I promise that. It's so, more than an entertaining yeah. read. What this will do is spark the whole debate at home as you go through page by page because you hit some of the topics. You know, everybody has gone through this. Mm -hmm. To fight or not to fight? Is it part of the game? Is it not part of the game? Yeah. Who hasn't sat down and, and had that debate? Well, you do the debate yourself in, in the book, and I can just see people picking it up and going, oh, no, he's right, or oh, no, he's wrong, you know, and, and bringing their own point to the table. Well, and that's the beauty of it, and I say this in the introduction, I, I want that to, I want people to do that. I want people to come up to me and say, hey, I, I disagree with you. I want people to sit and say, talk to me for an hour and say, you know what, you're wrong about that, because you know what, we'll be talking about hockey for the next hour, and that, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of this book. Uh, there is some controversial topics, but I do try to look at both sides of it, but I come up with a conclusion on uh, each topic and well and what's interesting with this Phil I mean it's not just you your ideas that you mm. back it up with some pretty hard facts and you can tell you're not just you're a big fan of the game and yep. you've got to have like do you have books and, and, and stats and everything or is it mainly up top that you've got all that well it's a lot in between the years I've been a passionate hockey fan my whole life uh, you know it's funny because uh, my wife uh, gets a kick out of us anytime we're watching a game and uh, one of the announcers makes a, just a tiny little mistake and also I just said the other day like uh, there's something that happened on TV and I said to her I said no that didn't happen in 2008 that happened in 2006 they're, they're <laughs> wrong about that she gets a kick out of that but I just I guess a while ago I said to myself you know what I, I have to do something with some of this knowledge I have I, I feel I should do something about it and so yeah I, oh I'm I live and breathe the game just like many Canadians do and you know what it's it's the best game on the planet so. And I, I think that's the one debate that everybody mm -hmm. out there that met you w would say the same thing. We right. all love our hockey. We're Canadian. We're passionate yeah. about it. But what happens is we get different points of view on things. I, I have to tell you, the one I agreed on, you are talking about hardest hits. Mm -hmm. When our own Scott Stevens from Kitchener came up in that, I thought, oh, you're not far off the mark there. That, no. Those were big hits. Oh, well, I mean, you know, Stevens, he's a Hall of Famer and, uh, you know, he won those three Stanley Cups uh, with New Jersey based, based on that intimidation. I think you know, New Jersey does not win the Stanley Cups without uh, Stevens in the lineup. And we remember him uh, for throwing all those thunderous hits. And, you know, I, I bring up a lot of those situations. I pick on poor Eric Lindros a bit on, <laughs> on that one play, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's what he's remembered for. So. Yeah. Stevens, that is, sorry. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, you know, we love our hockey here in mm -hmm. Canada. This is going to spark a number of topics. Now, I have to ask you, since we're here, question number one, do we make it seven in Canada? Are we going to get another Canadian team up here? I hope so. I, I think, uh, you know, these things have a way of working themselves out. Uh, I really love Balsilli. I know a lot of us do around here. I don't know why the NHL uh, is so quick to dismiss him. Uh, here's a billionaire who loves hockey. Uh, who it'd be great to have him in the game. I don't know why they're so quick to just dismiss this this topic. But oh, of course we'd love one in the in the Niagara or KW area. It'd be great. Uh, I really hope it does happen. Uh, so we'll just have to see. I believe June 9th is when the the date is it's coming up. Kind of set. So mm -hmm. we'll see. I, I have my fingers crossed too. So. You know, I hope so. We need to put you and Bettman in opposite corners of the <laughs> ring, and you can debate that one. And just well, quickly now, since we're winding down Stanley Cup. Yeah. Detroit. Or Pittsburgh. You know what? I'm a big Leaf fan, first off, but I can't help but love the Penguins as well. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say Pittsburgh, especially the way they played last night. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say Pittsburgh and six. You just I'm made my it. son a very happy boy, <laughs> Phil. That's exactly what he's saying. In the meantime, right. you can get your own debates going. Let's talk hockey is the name of the book. You can pick it up. Chapters, Amazon, and mm -hmm. debate with Phil. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Thank you for having me.